This weekend, the world said goodbye to Nobel Prize winning author, humanitarian, and Holocaust survivor Elie Wiesel at his funeral in New York City. He died Saturday at the age of 87. His first hand accounts of Nazi atrocities gave others the courage to do the same. CBS 2's Vince Girasoli spoke with Chicagoans who were touched by his message. Yes, it is very difficult, but it must be done. So Fritzi Fritschel finds the courage to tell the story of how at 13 she survived the Holocaust. The only reason that I was saved was by somebody risking his life. Shoved by Nazis from a boxcar at the infamous Auschwitz concentration camp, a stranger kept telling the children to insist they were 15. He knew that most children under the age would go to the gas chambers. Fritschel lied about her age and lived. The rest of her Jewish family did not. I lost my mother in Auschwitz concentration camp. She went to the gas chambers. I lost my two brothers who went to the gas chambers. I lost my grandparents, my entire family. Her courage to speak out can be traced to Nobel Prize winner Elie Wiesel. In the mid-50s, he wrote graphically of his own survival at Auschwitz and encouraged other survivors to do the same. It's Independence Day. Journalist Regine Schlesinger from WBBM Radio interviewed Wiesel on several occasions. He really kind of was the first to start talking about it. Schlesinger is the daughter of Holocaust survivors saved by Schindler's List and they all met with Wiesel. We lost a voice of moral courage. It didn't matter whether it was uh, about atrocities committed against Jews. He spoke out against atrocities committed anywhere in the world. At the Illinois Holocaust Museum in Skokie, sales of Wiesel's books have doubled since his death. That's where Fritzi Fritschel serves as president and where Wiesel's lessons live on. We speak out so history does not forget. Six million Jews died in the Holocaust. It occurred over 70 years ago. With the passing of Wiesel and others of his generation, there is always the concern the voices of Holocaust deniers could rewrite history. Wiesel's legacy is the effort to keep that from happening. And you know, Erica, I don't think we can emphasize enough tonight how painful it is for many Holocaust survivors to talk about their experiences. And in many ways, Wiesel was their unofficial spokesperson. Well, he was so brave in listening to the woman today. She as well. Yes, it's, incredible. it's just incredible to meet history in yes. person. All right. Thank you, Vince.